Oh, yeah. Hey. That's nice. That's nice. Wow. What a nice, what a nice welcome home. <laughs> now, this That's is where right. we met Abraham. The first time I spoke to Abraham, we were where it was called the Black Canyon Highway, where it intersected Interstate 10 as they were developing it then. That's right. That's why first it ex Abraham says, take the next exit. Mm -hmm. And it's never stopped jabbering. And, and you promised me you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> well, that got out of hand. <laughs> this is a day of many, many firsts. It's today, the first day Esther's wearing a wireless microphone. Yes. Yes. I don't have a tail anymore. <laughs> it's the first real welcome all you guys around the planet. To the first worldwide uh, broadcast. 44 countries, 44 states. 44, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, every, and every continent except... Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> if only penguins had computers. <laughs> uh, you know what? What? I do. Yeah, I'm tired of messing around up here. I would like you to bring Esther up, and she will bring Abraham up. Would you please? No tell. No tell. Hello. Goodbye. I love my part. And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. We want to talk briefly about moving vibration incrementally. Jerry and Esther and friends were just on a cruise ship that went through the Panama Canal. And the water level was 84 feet difference. Many physical beings who are at a different vibrational place than they really want to be would like to just jump. And it was an interesting thought to think about that big cruise ship just leaping into the higher water. Not a practical thought at all. not possible. So instead, the boat sailed into a channel which was blocked off and once it got in, then water was added to it. And then the locks were opened and the boat just moved into the next lock. And then more water was added and then the boat just moved into the next lock. And it was not fast, but it was sure. And it was efficient, it was effective. It took this big vessel and many others from one level of water to 84 feet higher in a relatively short period of time. And we would like you to think in terms of vibration as being a bit like that too. Where you are, and this is going to sound very profound, where you are is where you are. Where you are is where you are. It is your point of attraction. And if you wonder where you are, look around. Look at what's happening. If you want to know how you feel, look at what's happening around you. In other words, if you're worried about something, look around. If it, whatever is happening is a response to whatever you've got going on vibrationally. No exceptions ever. So where you are is where you are. And even though you'd rather be someplace else, if you think in terms of this big cruise ship, not able, to jump into the higher water, you can't either really. And if you will give up trying to defy these laws of physics, and instead you will just acknowledge that where you are is where you are, and by acknowledging it we mean observe, you can't help that. By observing what you don't want, it causes you to launch a rocket about what you do want, and then 
in your relaxed state, in your understanding that all is well, in your understanding that you don't have to do it this red hot minute, in your understanding that the larger part of you is summoning you, in your understanding that the larger part of you is the dominant part of you and it will, it will call you, it will call you eventually. It will call you in your perfect readiness. So this is really, this is really the part that we're wanting you to hear with this freshly offered analogy. Even though you think you want to be in the vortex, because we've now convinced you that that's where you really are, that's where who you really are is, it's where all of the cooperative components of that which you want has already been gathered. This vortex really is where you want to be. Hear this. You don't want to be taken into the vortex before you are vibrationally ready. It'll just spit you out anyway. But in the same way that the ship analogy, it's much better to do it incrementally. We want you to, to relax into the idea of allowing yourself to be prepared vibrationally to move comfortably into the next vibration and the next vibration and the next vibration. You see what we're getting at? Because so often what you think you want, you think that if you could have the manifestation and you could have it right now, that then you would just feel better about everything. And while we acknowledge that everything that you want, whether it's a material object or a pile of money or a better relationship or, or a new house, no matter what it is that you want, you believe that the reason that you want it is because you will feel better in the having of it. And we want you to step back a little bit from that. And instead of wanting to have it so that you will feel better in the having of it, we want you to contemplate the feeling better the feeling better which then will result in the having of whatever it is that you're wanting. And it is our promise to you that if you will take a vibrational approach to this and you will ease up on yourself and others about it and you will accept the certainty, the certainty of this powerful vortex that is summoning you toward it. When you have what you call your death experience and what we call your croaking experience, when you release your consciousness and your attention and therefore your attraction through this physical apparatus, this vibration of who you really are in your vortex will be dominant and will take you into the vortex. And you will have an exhilarating experience in the process. But you are really not wanting the quantum leap that you think you're wanting. You're really not wanting these huge vibrational jumps. What you're wanting is the ease and flow of just moving incrementally into your vortex. You're following? Do you know how many times a day do you think you're in your vortex? What would you guess? Do you think there's ever a day that you're not in? Do you think that you ever go a whole day without being in at some point? No. There is never, there is never, there is never a day that goes that you are not at one point or another in your vortex, never a day. The key is recognizing the difference between what it feels like when you're in and what it feels like when you're not. And this is the thing that we want you to understand. If you've been moving incrementally through these locks, how much difference do you think that ship felt by the time the water level was equal and the gates opened? It didn't feel anything. Moving into the, moving into the next water level felt completely comfortable. There was not even a bump. There was not even a splash. There was not even a gurgle or a bubble. It was just ease into the next level of the water. And this is the thing that we want you to understand vibrationally. If you will cool your jets just a little bit and knock off the impatience that you have with yourself, and no longer try to compare where you are in terms of manifestation with anyone else and you will just pay attention to how you're feeling with this interest in increasing your improvement in the way you feel what you'll begin to notice is as you move in and into the vortex and into the different levels of the vortex that you will be able to incrementally recognize what you are doing and that's when deliberate creating really gets fun we'll visit with more of you now and then we'll wedge more of our message in the crack because this is the thing that we really want you to hear today all right right here joy, joy, joy. joy is the key joy is the key joy is the key joy is the key i can do it <laughs> 